Hey, what's up? It's Jason. I'm back with another video and it's another contest entry. This one for our good friend, Aaron uh, Mutha Alomar, who is uh, basically a legend in the VC. He's been around for over three years because this is his three year anniversary contest. And uh, if you don't know Alan's channel, I'll put a link below, um, but I'm sure if you're in the VC or if you're watching a lot of these record YouTube videos, you've probably uh, stumbled upon him by now. Uh, yeah, he's got great killer taste in hard rock and heavy metal especially, but he likes all kinds of genres. Super laid back, friendly guy, happy to do his contest anytime. And uh, this one is kind of cool. This is a third album picks. Uh, we got to do three shout outs, which I'm going to do. And we got to pick three uh, albums by three different artists that is their third release, which actually is not usually my favorite pick, by the way, from most artists. I'm always like a one or first and second release kind of guy. I usually love their first release uh, by most bands that I collect. Um, Dead Kennedys comes to mind, for example, Circle Jerks, Public Enemy, all of them. First first one two albums are their best um third albums i've got some i've got some here that are good uh, maybe in one or two cases their best certainly considered by some people their best uh but there's a lot of weird third albums i kind of usually consider the third album sort of the curse of the third album right thinking uh ll cool j comes to mind big daddy kane's third album is kind of weak or just more inconsistent um or how about this one i was gonna pick this one but it's just such a weird ballsy kind of record for <laughs> their third album and that's venom's at war with satan um got the cassette version of this too which i had when i was a kid and uh love rocking this thing but it's a concept album right by a black metal uh hunkish metal band you know from the 80s new new wave of british heavy metal um, yeah, kind of, kind of ballsy to go with the concept album, although it's not like other metal bands haven't done it, Kiss, etc. So what it is, is one side completely one track for At War With Satan, and then the other side with multiple tracks, kind of a battle of good and evil. This one signed, of course, by Mantis. But I'm not going to pick that one. I'm not going to pick that one because it's kind of a weird, unusual uh, third album. Same thing with Dead Kennedys. I was going to go maybe with Dead Kennedys, Frank and Christ, but really I think out of all the Dead Kennedys albums, that's probably the weakest one uh, of the bunch. I actually like uh, Bedtime for Democracy better, or play it more often than Frank and Christ, for example. Also a weird record for them, too, because that record pretty much bankrupted the entire record label and led to some splitting of the band as well. So, we won't, we won't go with those ones. Instead, what I will go with are these three records and kicking it off with probably what some people consider the best album by this band, and that's Rain and Blood by Slayer. This is the first album that they record with Rick Rubin over at Def Jam, and I only recently got a copy of this reissue uh, myself um, in the past year. Always aware of it, obviously, and always a Slayer fan. But actually, again, one of those ones where it's not necessarily my favorite of the band, uh, but it is a killer, killer record. Uh, one of the fastest records out there. And I think it clocks in a total of like 28 or 29 minutes. So it could almost be considered an EP. Really cool and unusual album artwork, too, which I guess from reading the Wikipedia page, the band wasn't completely enthused about at first, but ended up getting them again. Getting the same artist for South of Heaven and for Christ Illusion, I think, too. So, yeah, Lombardo's still on this one, produced by Rick Rubin. The guitar players all still have their hair and are alive. And, yeah, this is just a killer Slayer record, right? Rain and Blood. That is their third album. I'm kind of more of a show no mercy, haunting the chapel of usually my faves. I like all the early Slayer records, really. Next, I thought I'd pick a techno uh, artists, because I don't show a lot of techno albums, that's for sure, uh, on my channel, but I do enjoy and play a lot of techno, as you know. Um, so I, I went with Richie Houghton, uh, aka Plastic Man, and this album called Music, which is actually his third album. Well, this one's kind of tricky. It's his third album by Richie Houghton, but it's really only the second album by Plastic Man, so kind of cheating a little bit. If you go to Wikipedia again, 
they list this as his third album uh, because the first album was under the recording name as Fuse, still just a solo project basically of Richie Houghton, who is originally from Windsor, Detroit area, so uh, part Canadian, part British, I think. Um, this is the best Richie Houghton stuff back when he was bald. Then he moved to Berlin and grew kind of a hipster sort of wavy haircut. Um, but still makes great minimal techno. But this stuff is quite pioneering. This is like 1994, and I got two copies of it, actually. This is the British, uh, the UK pressing of it um, through Plus 8 is his label, but released on Novamute. It's got the extra disc, too, with a logo etching on the back of one of the records. So there's a triple disc version or the double disc version, which is on his original label, Plus 8 Records out of Windsor. So the Canadian edition. And yeah, it just has really cool tracks on this. Cricket, Fuck, um, Goo, Conception, Marbles, I think is on here. Uh, yeah, Marbles, last track. Kind of a variety of speeds and tempos. Uh, all very analog based, minimal techno. Uh, trippy, definitely trippy, definitely hypnotic. Um, no vocals, pretty minimal. Um, yeah, really pioneering the minimal sound back in those days along with, you know, Jeff Mills, Robert Hood of Detroit coming out the gate with minimal techno, but Plastic Man has to be considered in that group, especially around the same timeline too. So yeah, just a killer album all around. I think this is like 94 or is it 95? 1994, clocks at 73 minutes compared to, so double the length of the Slayer record, I guess. But so we'll consider that a third album by Richie Hodden. And last but not least, Man, this is a toss-up. I was going to go with The Cure's Faith because I really, really enjoy that record lately. It's kind of my fave Cure album. But I thought I'd go with The Smiths' The Queen is Dead. Um, believe it or not, that's their third album. I was thinking of it as like a fourth album because I'm thinking about compilations and stuff. But this is my original, original OG press. Same thing with that Plastic Man um, on Rough Trade Records, Canadian Pressing on Sire. But yeah, every track on this is legendary and stellar and uh i keep it under plastic wraps here but uh, yeah no it's a great album uh i could um uh, every song on this is is great top to bottom so I, I would probably consider this the best smith's album but there's a lot of good runner-ups for sure too so those are my picks for three best third albums album releases now let's get on to the uh shout outs so I'm going to shout out three killer metal channels that I like to watch lately. We got Darcy, of course, Canadian guy, Six Strings, Nine Lives. Then we got Jurgen over in Europe with Six Beers and Nine Wives. Um, pretty good take on that. And back in stateside, we got Dennis at Analog Archives. Uh, just a killer, killer collection that guy has. Cassette, vinyl, you name it. Probably has 8-track too. But yeah, he's got killer like uh, death metal thrash, speed metal, all the goodies. Probably some hardcore punk too, I'm, I'm pretty sure, and some hip hop in there too. So um, that's my shout out for those three channels. Of course, there's millions of channels that I would shout out from Cliff, to Christian Osario, Chris Profi, JC, the whole gang. Mike from Uncommon Pallor. I always give him a shout out whenever I can. And uh, Aaron, this is my entry. Um, thanks again for hosting this contest, and I'll see you guys in the next one.